Hi everyone, this is Lissa. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I talk about manifestation, the law of assumption, self-concept and self-love. If that's something that you're interested in, please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to the video. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Um, today I wanted to talk a little bit about something simple that you can do every day to help lead you into your desired life, into your manifestation. And that simple thing, that technique, is gratitude. Um, it's really easy to get your mind into the idea of where you want to be in the future and highly only think about that state, but we have to ground ourselves a little bit and be appreciative and grateful of the things that we do have in our current lives. So, and that will get you into the state of mind of receiving more great things when you are grateful for the things that you have. And if it's a challenging thing to, to find something that you're grateful for, I know that could be a challenging time sometimes, given circumstances, things that you may be going through, things you may be feeling, but there's always something to be grateful for. For example, you're here today. You're alive. You're awake. You're able to watch my video. <laughs> I'm probably talking to nobody right now, but you're here. And I'm happy that you're here. I'm happy that I'm here. And every day is a gift that you receive. And there's so many great things to be grateful for. You may have family, friends that love and care about you. You have the air that you breathe. And you have ambition. You have the desire to improve yourself, to improve your life. That's something. That's amazing. But be grateful for the day that you are living. Be grateful for the sky that you get to see, for the air that you get to breathe, that you get to feel. We get to touch. We get to feel. We get to experience. And when you're in that state of appreciation for the life that you currently have, more great things are just going to keep attracting to you. They're just going to flow to you and guarantee that you already have something that you desired priorly, that you wanted to manifest. For example, I have my husband. I always wanted and always thought of wanting to be married and finding the love of my life and finding the home that we have now and the country life that we have. But obviously, you have to be consistent with the appreciation of the life that you have at the moment. And when you are open to that, you will, like I said, you'll keep receiving. But it is very easy to go down the negative route once you start thinking about things that you don't like about your life. And guess what? When you think about things that you don't like about your life, you're just going to keep attracting them. Whatever you think will keep coming to you. So if you're thinking, oh, I'm always in pain. I always have a headache. People always annoy me. There's always traffic. The clouds are always above my head. That's going to keep coming to you. But if you think, another day I got to wake up. Another day I got to get up. Another day I get to express love to people in order to receive it. So if you want to receive something, start giving it too. Make sure that you, if you want to receive love, give the love that you want to receive. Make sure that you are appreciative of the day that you have, no matter what the weather is. You make your own weather. You make your own happiness. Don't rely on the outer 3D reality, circumstances, the weather, to create your happiness. You create it. I can be happy on a rainy day, I can be happy on a sunny day, because I'm blessed, because I'm here, because I have the things that I need to survive, to live, to be happy, to thrive, and more great things will keep coming to me. This is not a limited life. There's so much resources all over. There's abundance in this world for everyone to enjoy, but you have to keep consistent on knowing that it'll come but being appreciative of where you are now. It's kind of like, put it for example, you go online, you go shopping, you place an order or something that you really want, you know it's coming. 
It may not be in your closet yet, but it's coming and you're excited about it. But that doesn't mean that you're not going to be appreciative of the clothes that you already have, that you're not going to wear the clothes that you already have because you're waiting for something else to come. You're still wearing your clothes. You still love the clothes you have. You still look good in the clothes you have. So take that as an example. Make sure that you are appreciative every day, that you find something to be grateful for. And I highly recommend to start a gratitude journal. I have a gratitude journal I write every single day. Sometimes I may miss a day if I was sick, but if I was in bed. But every day in the morning, I wake up, I go to my desk, and I write in my journal. And I write 10 things I am grateful for. I know that may be a challenge sometimes, but when you sit down and you just start thinking, what am I grateful for? Things would just start popping. Whatever pops in your head, anything that pops in your head, you're grateful for it. That's you. That's your gratitude. So if it pops in your head, I'm grateful that I have eyes. You write that down. I am grateful the sun is out. That's awesome. I'm grateful I have a husband. I'm grateful I have friends. I'm grateful I have a home. I'm grateful I have a roof over my head. I'm grateful I have food every day. I'm grateful I have water every day. I'm grateful I can shower every day. I'm grateful I can wear clothes every day. So start a gratitude journal. I highly recommend it, even if it's just three things. Even if it's just one thing that you write every day, I guarantee that'll set your mood to a positive, appreciative state of mind that will lead your day into a positive flow. And from then, you just keep seeing more positive things that you love. Every little thing. A beautiful sky, a sunrise, a sunset, birds flying above, fresh air. I just listed so many things you can be grateful for. So make sure that you're appreciative of the day that you have and always look forward to the day that will come. But make sure that you love what you have all around you and make sure that you show the love, show the appreciation, show the gratitude. Thank people. Show them that you love them. Embrace everything you have, all of your, even material items, it's so amazing, such a blessing that you have so many things. You may have so many things in your, in your household. Look around you. Everything is a blessing. Everything is something to be grateful for. So make sure that you are in that gratitude state of mind in order to keep receiving positive things. Think positive things. If you think a negative thought, it happens. We're human. Replace it with a positive. If, for example... Oh, I'm always sick. No, no, I'm alive. I'm healthy. I'm here today. I'm healing. There's traffic. Oh, but I get to listen to my favorite songs. I get to listen to podcasts. I get to enjoy beautiful views. I get to sightsee. I get to people watch. Change the negative into a positive and find gratitude in every day that you have. So I hope that this inspires you to live with gratitude, to start a gratitude journal, and to be grateful. You're here today. And I'm so happy that you're here today. Even if I'm talking to just my camera by myself, but I'm happy to be here. I'm happy that you're here. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one.